Welcome to the Stealth Watch tutorial series. My name is Leo LaBelle. I'm a technical solutions architect for Stealth Watch at Cisco. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to enable encrypted traffic analytics in Stealth Watch. Before we get started, let's quickly review what benefits ETA provides us. Modern threats use HTTPS as the encrypted delivery mechanism for malware. This helps the bad guys avoid detection. ETA allows us to detect malware and encrypted traffic while maintaining privacy. We can also use ETA to audit TLS sessions to ensure our endpoints are using the highest levels of encryption. To generate ETA information, you will need at least one of the following devices to provide enhanced NetFlow to your StealthWatch deployment. Flow sensor with 71 installed, or Catalyst 9300, 9400 with DNA Premier licensing or equivalent, you can also use an ISR, ASR, or CSR that supports ETA. Lastly, you will need iOS XE 16.6.2 at a minimum. Now that we have all the hardware and software in place, we will need to activate Cognitive Threat Analytics. We'll do that by going to the Settings wheel, clicking on Central Management, and you're going to go over and look at the Flow Collector and the SMC. Now, you go to the Actions bubble, go to Edit Appliance Configuration, and we're going to go to the general tab there. And once we're there, about halfway down the page, we're going to be able to see external services. And we're going to need to enable cognitive analytics and automatic updates. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and hit apply settings. And we're going to answer this question here. And we want to apply changes. Now we're going to do the same thing on the StealthWatch Management Console. Edit Appliance Configuration, go to the General tab, and down to Cognitive Analytics. And because this one's already activated, we're just going to uncheck something so that we can apply these settings. And once that's done, we're going to go back to the inventory screen and you're going to see that there's changes pending. After several minutes and a few refreshes you'll be able to see that the status of the appliances is up and we're ready to go back to the main screen. Now once we get back to the dashboard you're going to see that there's a new widget at the bottom left hand corner after a quick refresh here. We'll see that there are new widgets available but there's no data yet. And that new widget's going to take several hours before the data is available and render information in that spot. Now that Cognitive has had some time to analyze data, we can now see that there are threats present. We can now click on View Dashboard. It'll bring us to another page, which gives us the health status of our StealthWatch deployment. We can also go to Detected, where that'll allow us to look at things like what we're investigating things that we're remediating, issues that have been resolved, and then we can look at all of the threats. We can go back to confirm, and this will show us more information that's detailed specific to the threat, allow us to add some notes, show us the affected users, then we can also see the infection history, and then we can move down and take a look at the actual incident itself. So we can click on that down below. Once we click on that, it's gonna bring us to another part of the dashboard that shows us what malware it is. And we have some options to triage. We can go new, investigate, remediating. And we can also ignore or recommend false positives get sent back to Talos for recategorization. We can also see the affected users and we can copy to clipboard or show in StealthWatch Management Console. On the left-hand side, we can see the affected host, the domains, and the IP addresses associated with that attack. We can also see the timeline at the bottom. Having this forensic information is critical to taking action and preventing future attacks. If you're interested in evaluating StealthWatch, sign up for a test drive at cs.co slash stealthwatchtd, or you can learn more at cisco.com slash go slash stealthwatch.